victory or death. Greetings, Starfighter. You have been recruited by the Star League to defend the frontier against Zur and the Kodan Armada. Get ready. Prepare for blastoff. Victory or Death Starfighters, my name is Carlin Jones, and this is a Starfighter full movie podcast. And today we are going to be watching the 2010 drama biopic, The Social Network. And today I brought along a very special guest. And I mean, this is a very special guest. You're basically kind of like royalty because you're the sister of... <laughs> Someone who has been on this podcast so many times. Shadi, thank you for being here today. Thank you for having me. Thank you, thank you. Yes, so like Carlin said, I am the little sister of the famous, famous Noor. I'm sure you have all heard her talk on these podcasts before. Wait, you're so Noor's sister? I finally joined. Yes. Who do you think I was? No, that sounds about right. <laughs> <laughs> you seem to have a more um, active love I would life. Say I'm... <laughs> zoom, oh zoom, zoom. My love life. <laughs> zoom, zoom. Yeah, it's that zoom, zoom generation. Um, yeah, I'm just, I'm really excited to do this. I hear my sister talk about them all the time. So I thought, you know what? Why not the better sister? Give it a shot. No, <laughs> the better sister. Well, we're <laughs> definitely going to figure that out. So why don't you tell me, because this movie for today is your choice and you were never yes. interested to see the social network. Why is that? Uh, that is because I think Facebook is dead. I think it is one of the more boring social media platforms, in my opinion. Fair enough. Um, yeah, I just think that it's outdated as compared to, obviously, let's say Instagram. But then, you know, there's the argument to say that Instagram is now outdated to TikTok. They're all one in another. I know that. And I know that Facebook is the granddaddy of all social platforms. But hmm. I don't know. There's just something about it where I'm like, you know what? I don't care for it. I don't care how it started, who created it. I don't, I don't really care. And I was also <laughs> fairly young when the movie came out. So what did I know about Facebook? That's very true. But do you often not care about anything that's created by somebody? <laughs> like you don't care like who created <laughs> anything that has like an origin? Uh, not really. You know, like I really? I know there's that famous saying. Yeah, I know that there's that famous saying where it's not the like destination, it's the journey that matters. Wow. But for these like grandeur, ooh, I know. So let me let me ask like you that, this, but because <laughs> yes, because I know because I met your sister in elementary school. So at a certain point in time, you did live in America, right? Yes. So that's I'm sure when you were <laughs> I'm sure when you were in school, uh, your class did touch on the DACA, the what? declaration of independence or the bill of rights right sir do you know how old i was I'm, when i lived in the state i'm sure i'm sure you're young but i can only imagine your teacher telling you this sir, and you're I like i don't care how it was started it's just here okay <laughs> um, you know at five years old i'm sorry yeah i did not oh, okay. care yeah okay five years old that's fair <laughs> but you know what now yeah i do have a i am a history head i do have an appreciation for it um so maybe everything i'm saying right now just goes against my entire reasoning for not wanting to watch this movie but hopefully at the end of all this i can find a new appreciation for facebook well hopefully maybe just an appreciation for like mark zetterberg and maybe i pronounced his name wrong that he kind of i don't he literally changed the world <laughs> Yeah, I mean, I guess. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I don't want to give him too much credit, you know? Well, he he definitely changed something. And that's something we're definitely going to talk about uh, once we start this movie. And uh, we're definitely going to get into your uh, your college life because there's a lot of that happening in this film. Uh-huh. I lived a very, very different uh, university college life than I think everybody is expecting me to broadcast about. Well, there's no, I feel like, in terms of schooling, there's no uh, normal high school life. There's no normal college life. There's no normal, mm -hmm. you know, anything. So, I I guess you'd say you know your movie typical high school life. Oh, that well, that's 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 shit. If it if it was like a high school yeah. typical movie type thing, then 
easily I would have been bullied, then got the girl, Aww. and then oh. got superpowers at the end of it. <laughs> oh, okay, well, what kind of superpower? Uh, you know what? My my all time superpower that I've always wanted, and I don't know how big you are into comic books, but there is an X Men character called Archangel. And literally, besides his wings, because I don't want his wings, okay. his his yeah, superpower is one of his superpowers is to have zero percent body fat and an incredibly perfect metabolism. So he can eat what he wants whenever he wants, never get sick and never get any type of diseases or anything like that. And always like in shape. Every girl's dream. Yeah, that is every girl's dream. Fit into any pants you want. <laughs> <laughs> as i sit here and eat my popcorn <laughs> uh, well <laughs> well okay starfighters okay so that's a dope superpower yeah well it it's uh it's it is what it is i mean it's x-men well wait what would your superpower be mm-hmm. um i think i'm pretty basic i think i would want to fly uh, okay, people keep saying that, and then I always tell them why that's an awful idea. But you know what? We'll get to that right when we start this movie. So, all right, Starfighters, if you want to start this movie along with us, or play along with this movie along with us, you can... Actually, I have no idea where this is streaming. It's not, it's uh, It was made by Sony, and I don't think Sony has a streaming platform because they mostly put their stuff on Netflix. So it might be on Netflix. Uh if you have the DVD, you can follow along with us, or you can just listen to our banter, as usual. Huh. So, with that said, we are going to start this movie in five, four, three, two, one. You know, for a movie that I never cared to see, I'm watching it for the third time, technically. <laughs> this was so wild. Nor <laughs> literally just came in here and destroyed your laptop. <laughs> no, she definitely did. She definitely sabotaged me somehow. She heard about all the shit we were talking. We weren't even talking about her love life, per se. We were talking about my love life. Yeah. Well, we were talking about how you had a a, a long uh, a long relationship. She probably just took offense to it. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, okay. no. That's my final nor joke of the day. I feel like I've said a lot. You've said a lot. Since- I don't think that's your last one. I feel like there's a couple more still in there. We'll see. We'll see. Well, if there are any Middle Eastern guys that appear on in this movie, we will definitely give Noor a shout out. I'll send her a picture. So I mean, why, yes, go why ahead. Why is that? Why? Okay, so we know that Noor on this podcast, people listening, knows that Noor only dates within her race. Yes. For some odd reason. Very right? odd reason, yes. But you have no problem dating outside your race. No problem. No problem at all. Honestly, it just adds, like, flair to the relationship. You know, I want to learn about another future. <laughs> it <laughs> adds <laughs> flair? Yeah, it adds, you know, dimensions. Like, I want to learn about a new culture. I want to have different events to celebrate. I don't want to just be <laughs> celebrating the same boring events. So if your friend comes up to you in college because you, you had a boyfriend for so long and they're like, wow, you're dating this Asian guy who's like 5'3". Why are you well, dating him? First of him? all, I would not like, be dating for someone 5'3". Whoa, whoa. Wait, why not? Just because I am not, I'm 5'4", so I can't, unfortunately, I'm one of those girls. What's the difference? I am, unfortunately, (laughs) one of those girls that I'm like, you know what? Height matters. Okay, he's 5'5". Okay, I never understood that from women. Why the whole height thing? There's just something so, like, comforting about, like, ooh, he's six feet, you know? Like, how many guys can say that? I'm sure there's a lot of guys out there that can say that. No, listen... Women always say that. They're like, oh, I just want to feel so safe. I want to feel so protected. Like, who is trying to attack you? (laughs) (laughs) I don't know. There's just like, you know, for pictures, you also got to take into account like pictures and like hugs. You got to make sure that like the height is like a good hug height, you know? Like where like his chin will rest on your head top and like you just like fit so snug. No. Hey, is this a podcast about height or is this a podcast about the social network? Fuck the movie. I'm okay. more concerned <laughs> about this right now. 
Oh yeah, this, I'm definitely this... I'm definitely six feet. Like you have to be. Wait, six feet is the cutoff? Yeah. Okay. You know, get if the he fuck pulls out of here. Me, if he pulls up to me and and like I can't tell the difference and he's actually like five ten, then like all right, it's a win win. But like, do not pull up to me being like five six and try to say that you're six feet. You're freaking crazy. <laughs> well, you know what the thing is, I know I'm not alone in this. Okay, so. Well, no, you are not alone. So that's I why I know say, I'm not crazy. I would say majority of the of the women in America and in Canada feel the same way, which I don't understand. Why. Like it, 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 it sucks because I know there's some guys that are genuinely like great physically, mentally, intelligently, like personality wise. But like you know, height is just something that you can't change. Like I, I full. We can full, change it. And, you just don't give us the opportunity to. And how exactly are you guys going to be able to change your height? Okay. Let's oh say boy. for an example. Oh, boy. I'm, I'm five eight and a half. Is the half really relevant? Yes, it is. And okay. I'll tell you why. Okay. I'll tell you why. Okay. I'm just, just, I'm, just wondering. I'm, okay. Let's use, <laughs> let's use Noor as an example. <laughs> See, there was no more Noor, Noor jokes. I knew it. <laughs> let's say if Noor and I were going on a date because mm-hmm. Noor is pretty tall for a woman. Yeah, she is. She's what six four? Are you kidding me? She's like five <laughs> eight or five nine. Okay, let's say she's five eight. Uh huh. So I'm five four? eight. Oh my god. I'm I'm five eight and a half, which means with that half, uh huh. If I wear triple socks, uh huh. If I wear boots, uh huh. And if I stand on my tippy toes, right. I am damn near six one. How thick are these socks? Pretty thick. They're Christmas okay. socks. <laughs> All right. So now let's say you're going on this date in like dead of summer. Why are we wearing three socks and boots? I don't care about what whether it is. I wear jeans all year all year round. That's some psychopath behavior. How why? Jeans in the yeah. summer and in the it's- winter? I'm literally a cartoon character. I wear the same shit every day. Jeez. Okay, but also, could you take a nap in jeans? No. Why would I do that? Uh, I wear shorts under my jeans every day. I think that's just a guy thing. Like, that's just weird. Like, like how do you fit shorts in your jeans? You just you just do it. Sometimes I feel that... Okay, here's... Okay, maybe this is psychopathic. Or maybe it's not psychopathic, but... Maybe it's because I watch too many movies and shows. I feel like one day I'm going to be put in a situation Mm -hmm. where I'm in front of a crowd of women Uh and something is going to happen to where my pants have to be taken off. Okay. And I'm like, it's it's okay. I have shorts under here. I'm not going to be embarrassed rather than just like, oh, no, I have to show my tidy whities. Tidy whities. Frog print underwear. Okay, frog print underwear. You know, some some women might actually like that. Depends. You'll never know if you actually just show it off. It depends. My ex didn't have a problem with tidy whities. So, back to the situation that you'd be, like, you know, having to take off your pet. What exactly, like, what kind of situation will you be in? It could be any situation. Okay. I think ever since middle school, mm-hmm. when I had to, because I remember my dad feeling like I was going to fail gym class because I just, all I did was wear jeans. I didn't mm-hmm. like wearing shorts at all. Okay. And I was like, don't worry, I got it. Because I didn't want to change in the locker room. Like, I didn't want to, mm-hmm. like, be in my underwear in front of everybody. I would just always keep my shorts on under my jeans. Okay, see, that's smart. But, like, to this day, do you still do that? Absolutely. Okay. Every single day. But, like, don't you just get, like, all so hot wearing shorts and jeans in the summertime? Mm-hmm. No. Because I'm a mutant. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay, I did not see that one coming. Yeah. <laughs> Definitely sent me a curveball with that one. <laughs> no, jeans? Mm, I don't know. And, and they're just... black jeans, too. So yeah. <laughs> they, <laughs> they absorb all the heat. That is some psychopath behavior. Uh, you can imagine. Like, I've worked on Walking Dead for like a few episodes mm-hmm. and blistering heat in the fields. Everyone's like shorts, tops. All this stuff, and I'm just here in just black jeans. <laughs> so wait, do you not think that your knees are sexy enough to show off? 
No, I am super in shape. I honestly feel like I'm the best shape I've ever been in my life right now. Okay. I feel like my body is superior of Chris Helmsworth. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> wait, wait. <laughs> what, why did you choke on? <laughs> I know. I just, I was not ready for you to say Chris Hemsworth of all people. Every time, why is it every time I say that to a woman, they either choke on something or they just don't believe what I'm saying? Because, you know, Chris Hemsworth, he's a, he's pretty, he's pretty nice. Lee built. <laughs> he's pretty nicely built. And I feel like you need to go on some crazy crash Hollywood diet and personal trainer routine to get a body like that. Oh my God. It's not healthy what those, what Hollywood people do. And I can oh, tell I you this for a fact. It. Yeah. From I don't seeing, doubt it. seeing it firsthand to to look that way it's not human like it, there's no way no believe it or not to look that way you can only you can't drink water uh, excuse me so you can't you, drink? You, you can only drink water at certain times of the day oh ah. because that's how they keep that shape there's no water weight to them jeez that's crazy mm-hmm that's crazy i'm out mm -hmm. here drinking like eight liters of water a day exactly i don't care I mean, how much of a blowfish i look like zach afron said it best he said it when he did that movie uh baywatch mm. Mm -hmm. when he was look the way he looked oh yeah chiseled Oof, i had exactly. great cheese on his abs right <laughs> on an interview he said he would never ever do that again I'm going to actually look up a picture of that beautiful, beautiful body okay. right now. You're literally looking up porn while we're trying to have this podcast. Mm -hmm. Baywatch. Wow. <clears throat> Is it weird that I don't like beaches? Um, No. I actually know a few other people that don't like the beach. Yeah, I fucking hate it. They say that the sand just gets everywhere where sand shouldn't be. Um, my friend actually, when we went to uh, went to Cuba, she put her foot in the ocean and she actually stepped on a sea urchin and it fucked up her foot so bad. Well, she's got to watch where she's going. Oh gosh, <laughs> <laughs> the sea urchin was there. Oh right, it's her fault. <laughs> yes, you're right. Uh, but the thing with beaches. Is that you have to go to a good one, you know? It, like here in Canada, in Ontario, they say, "Oh, this beach is the nicest beach in Ontario." And when you look at it, you're like, "This is crap. Like, this is not a beach," compared to beaches in the United States or even some places in Europe where Italy has famous beaches, Spain. Um, mm -hmm. Yeah, like you can't compare Ontario's beaches to the lakes to those absolutely gorgeous beaches or even the Caribbean. Like the Caribbeans are obviously out of this world when it comes to beaches, but yeah. Yeah. Just never appealed to me. Hmm. But do you just, like doing outdoorsy, outdoorsy stuff or no? I feel like I do, but I don't want to. <laughs> <laughs> don't knock it till you try it. No, no, no. I have tried it and I've done it all. Mm -hmm. I've lived a full life, honestly. How old that, are you that you're saying you lived a full life? Like, what? <laughs> I've lived a full life. I'm 28. You're still living it. What do you mean? But it, you can still live a full life. That's true. I'm pretty sure Tupac, before he died, lived a full life. <laughs> you know what? You're right. When was your birthday? Uh, okay, first off, okay. you're not going to read me oh, my no. astrology. <laughs> oh, no, no, no. <laughs> I swear to you, Nora has done that so many times. She's like, let me tell you how you're feeling right now. Well, you know, it's a very fair. It's not. It's not. It's Don't not. I was just wondering to see if I should say happy belated birthday or. Oh, uh, it's March 13th. Oh, so what is that? An Aries? Okay, here we go. Here <laughs> we go. <laughs> here we go. No, I'm joking. You're a Pisces, right? Yes, I'm a Pisces. Ah, Go fish. ahead and give me whatever judgment. No, you no, have no, no. On. We love the fish. That's fine. Okay, but in other news, Andrew Garfield just came on my screen, and we need to take at least thirty-three seconds to appreciate his cute face. What if he's five eight? Um, I don't want to think about that. I said thirty-three seconds to <laughs> you appreciate freaking his cute hypocrite. Face. <laughs> you will one hundred percent go with him. 
Well, he you... also has money, so. We... Oh. I said it. Yeah. Okay. I said it. You know what? We're gonna. You know. We're gonna have this conversation right now. We're acting like financial stability is just not like a huge. It's a huge thing. It's a huge thing. I gave um, during my Miss Congeniality uh, podcast episode with Noor, your sister, who uh, Mm -hmm. who is so great to to guess on. I gave her a list of questions that determined why she is single for so long. Okay. And why she has a hard time finding partners? Would you say you have a hard time finding partners? Um, no. If we're if we're gonna have this conversation, let's have it. Um, I'm just <laughs> genuinely not looking. Um, I have to wait, 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 of- wait, wait, <laughs> wait, whoa, 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 wait. <laughs> <laughs> Women who say they're not looking means they can't find anything. No, 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 no. Okay, let me let me at least tell you why, and then maybe you'll be like, oh, maybe you're genuinely not looking. Um. No, I, what? <laughs> I just have so many things that I want to accomplish and do single. I still want to travel the world with my friends, my family, myself. And I just have a lot of career goals that I want to reach. Um, mm-hmm. And I did the whole, you know, long relationship, school. I college, really wish I had a sound effect right now. <laughs> to play crickets <laughs> maybe you could, maybe you could filter that in after but i you know i've done the whole balance family friends school work boyfriend everything and it was exhausting with a capital e so right now i'm just having so much fun with my friends with my family oh my god yeah you know what would you have rathered me say some spicy shit like ooh yeah like I have a different guy in my bed every night like no i don't want to hear that either (laughs) (laughs) oh that's totally not me like i genuinely i am not looking like it's not a main priority for me right now and plus i just don't think that there's anyone that can like really keep me interested for that long anymore yeah and here comes the truth here comes (laughs) the truth (laughs) (laughs) my last relationship actually took so much out of me so i just need to you know, just still kind of regroup and figure out exactly what I want out of my next one because the first one was freaking exhausting. Well, how how long was that relationship? That was four years. Four years. Wow. My, the relationship I got out of was four years as well. And it was, you know, like in my young adolescent life. So, like I pretty oh. much, yeah. during that time, what was that, like 19... Yeah, I'd say like 19, 19. 23. Yeah. Wow. Um, yeah. My first like... relationship started when I was like 24. Mm. Okay. Oh, wait. So, wait. You just got out of it? Yeah. Oh. Are we going to talk about that? We can. We can. Okay. But I'd rather talk about Nora's relationship. Leave my sister out of this. <laughs> <laughs> Leave her out of this. I can't wait for her to listen to this. Oh, <laughs> just... no. I just want her to know I've had her back this entire time, okay? Okay. Wait, wait, wait. I'm deflecting right now. I didn't mean to deflect. Mm -hmm. (laughs) I'm deflecting. We can 100% have that conversation, but we'll have it after we figure out why you have a hard time in finding uh, finding guys. Damn, you sign up to watch the social network and you realize that... (laughs) This is... Okay, this is 100% relevant to the movie because... Uh, for people who don't know, this is our third time restarting this <laughs> podcast, <laughs> and we've been rewatching the same. Well, how many minutes? The, we've been watching this. Minutes. Yeah, we've been watching the same seventeen minutes over and over and over again. And basically, Facebook pretty much started because of a guy because of guy can't get over a woman. Basically, hmm. he was in his feelings. Basically. The best things do start out like that. Yeah, it's always over a, a, a loved one or a relationship, toxic, toxicity or whatever. Mm-hmm. So that is relevant to our conversation. Oh boy, here we go. So yes, <clears throat> you said you got out of that relationship when you were twenty three. Mm-hmm. How old are you now? I am twenty six. You're 26? Mm-hmm. I thought you were younger. How old do you think I was? 
12? No, I'm just- <laughs> Don't kill me. Like I said 12. But I thought, you. wait a second. We, we spent minutes talking about how you're a completely different generation. That's why when you said I'm a Zoom Zoomer, I was like, yeah. boy, I you're am definitely, Zoomer. I'm in between Gen Z and millennials, okay? Whoever wants wow. to claim me, they can claim me. Yeah, you're uh, technically, Nin- I guess you're a millennial. 1996. So I'm definitely not no 2000 kid, okay? That's true. That is very true. Because those are a different breed. Sorry to all those 2000 kids that are listening to this. Oh, my God. You're telling me. Freaking those kids who were like born in like 2010. Oh, <laughs> when the movie came out? Gee, yeah, they just literally born with all the platforms, all the internet, everything just born with youtube being there absolutely insane i'm just shocked at these laptops like 2010 was not that long ago no it wasn't you know so like 12 years ago right Hmm. yeah okay with the slides <laughs> let's talk about socks and sandals it's oh, definitely a vibe for me. I hate sandals. Okay, great. Next conversation then. <laughs> I only only wear jeans and I only wear shoes. Yeah, but like what kind of shoes? Skate shoes. You hate shoes? Skate shoes. Oh, skate shoes. I was like, what do you mean you hate shoes? You're walking yeah. around barefoot now. Ni- Nike SBs. That's all I wear all day Nike every day. SBs. Okay. I'm a cartoon character. He's so cute. This is a, that is, the, I think that is the most disrespectful thing a woman can say to a guy. That he's so cute? What do you think? Yes. Like a pop out or something? You, okay. Any woman that says that to a guy would never talk to them. You think so? 100%. But what's wrong with being cute? What does cute, cute get you nowhere? No, cute can get you a lot of things, okay? Like what? <laughs> I don't know, a number? I don't know. A, like, he's a cute. Number, let me tell you something. You tell a guy he's cute, and then you're like, oh, okay, you give him the number, and he calls that number, and you know what happens next? What? The next thing he hears from that number is, doo doo doo. Sorry, this <laughs> number is no. not real. <laughs> no. Like, see, Andrew Groffitt is so cute. They're both so cute. But guess what? He's 5'8". I refuse. I'm about to Google that right now. <laughs> Andrew Garfield height. I love Google. They're all 5'8". Every I'll guy be, in this movie is 5'8". I'll be damned if he actually is under six feet. Crap, they gave it to me in meters. Aww. 1.79. Oh, that's definitely not six feet. Is it? 1.7? No. 1.79. I don't know. I think he's like 5'10". Don't tell me this. Did you, you know, look it up? Yeah, I'm looking it up right now. Oh my god, he is 5'8". <laughs> no way. Let's, let's, see, let's see you change your uh, your standards now. <sighs> Will you learn from Nora's mistakes? That is the question. Absolutely not. <laughs> Absolutely not. I don't get it. I just, I never understood that height thing. You think us men, we don't care about the height of women. Yeah, but most of you guys care about the weight. That's no, that's not true. Okay. That's not true. Yeah, that's not true. Yeah, find me ten guys that don't. Oh, I can find you fifty guys that don't. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I can find you fifty guys that don't. Yes, please send them over. Well, wait a second. You're talking about men who, let's say, are uncomfortable with plus size women. Yeah. No. I think so. I okay, think... well, maybe it depends on what... Uh, maybe in, in what you're talking about. Maybe, like, having... Okay, first off, a oh. guy, no matter what weight, <laughs> no matter what weight a woman is, a guy will 100% hook up with you or hook up with them. Yeah, but, like, to actually find her attractive inside out? No, I don't think so. 100%. Oh, yeah, you know, a guy would. A guy would. Uh, I don't know about that. Now, it's another story if a guy, <clears throat> let's say, some some men might feel awkward 
uh, being with them, like in public, maybe. But why? Why is that? Uh, society norms and how they view uh, plus size people. Okay, it's but okay, but specifically plus size women. Sure. There's definitely Some... a negative induendo and like such oh, negativity. Absolutely. Yeah. So I feel like absolutely. You know, as much as guys have the height thing to battle, girls definitely have like overall That's body not true. image. That's yeah. Not true. That's not true. I still refuse to believe that because I feel like for us men, we're more lenient, uh, way more lenient towards women's weight. But, but that's something that you can actually change. So like, be selfish, be, you know, set those high standards. Yeah. Wait, can't, but can, can women change that? I mean, <laughs> if you know have a healthy lifestyle yeah for some cases yes some cases you can't you know um all in all as much as height matters to me i'm definitely one of those people and i'm laughing when i say it because i can already anticipate your reaction but personality definitely outweighs your looks like one thousand percent fucking liar no (laughs) you're a liar i promise you you're an absolute liar. No. Because if personality okay. did outweigh it, then you wouldn't be saying anything about weight or money. Okay. Okay. Right? Okay. Okay. You Let's said money earlier. On that one. You know what? Yes, I did say money. I'm fully, fully admitting to yes, height is like really, really shallow, but I know I'm not alone in that one. So like that one, I'll just, you know, I'll pass. But <clears> financial <throat> stability, you're telling me that like that does not like play such a huge factor. Of course it does. Yeah, so I'm not shallow. Yeah, personality obviously matters, but like, well, here, here, here's the thing. Here's the thing. Here's the thing. For the dream guy that you want, mm-hmm. what do they have to be making a year? And this is your dream guy, your your ideal guy. Enough to help me travel the world, whatever number that is. What? <laughs> <laughs> oh, <laughs> Wait a second. I thought Nor was delusional when she was talking about her stand- standards. So this runs in the family. <laughs> no. Okay. okay. So you're you know saying what? he has to make 100K a year? Canadian, not USD, you know? Shoddy. Uh, the, I'm not the, asking for too much. I'm really this, not. Shoddy. The, not. the men that you are talking about who make 100,000 <laughs> Or plus a year, do you know what the percentage of that is? And we'll say we'll say and only in, in in Canada. You know what the percentage of that is? Okay, you know we could do like you know eighty. <laughs> <laughs> as long as I'm you know at least making the same amount. Like obviously Ooh, I want to be working wait, too. Whoa, I don't want to just like. Whoa. Yeah. Wait, you have what to did you think? The... So you would have a... so you wouldn't date a man if you made more money than him. Oh, no, I would. 1,000% I would. Hmm. All I'm saying is that we both need to be making good money, you know? Okay. Because, like, I like I would – I don't want to be on, like, a, like a one, one single, like, income. Like, no, 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 no. Like, I definitely want to work. I want to have my own life. I want to build my own name, my own career, my own social network. Haha. But, yeah, like, I definitely want to have, like, my own life because – God forbid, what if the what if my husband, fiance, boyfriend, whoever is not there one day? What am I gonna what am I gonna rely on? Nor. No. What? <laughs> no. No. You will rely on your big sister. No. What if she's not there one day either? Uh, she's gonna be in the Cayman Islands and I can't find her. Doing what? <laughs> Hiding her money. <laughs> Scoping men, <laughs> not in the, the the ones she want are not in the Cayman Islands. Oh, that is very true. <laughs> She'll be somewhere in like Saudi Arabia, <clears throat> Lebanon. That is, that is very United true. Arab Emirates, somewhere there. Uh, Atlanta. No, no. <laughs> no. <laughs> I'm telling you, Nora's life would change if she just dates. If she just begin to date a white guy. Okay, but like you know, maybe not white. <laughs> maybe not white. You know, Wait, like what's wrong with white guys? Listen, what's going nothing, on here? No, 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 no. Nothing against them. Okay, it's just um, 
Oh, oh. We're just a different <laughs> breed. But like every, you know, every every race is a different breed. But there's it's just like white guys, I feel are an acquired taste. <laughs> you know, like root beer. It's an acquired taste. Whoa, wait, whoa, wait, whoa. Did you just describe all white men as root beer? No, no, no. I'm just saying it's like liking root beer. You know, it's a very acquired taste. There are some so how- white European men that are just gorgeous, you know, like give me a nice Italian guy. Mm. Give oh me a nice God. like Portuguese or Greek and just like chef's kiss, you know. Oh my god. There, well, okay, all in all, there are gems in every race. Period. <laughs> I would agree with this. Yes, there are gems in every race. I'm surprised you have not asked me what my type is. Well, I was going to get to that. I was going to okay. have you build your 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 dream oh guy, but oh I boy. think I already know what it is. Oh boy. Here we go. Listen, listen, here here's the thing. If you if I were to tell you who is your dream your dream person the money they make personality uh looks all this stuff you would basically be describing bruce wayne you know what he is fine as hell all versions of him michael keaton version christian bale george clooney all versions of him adam west who (laughs) who (laughs) adam west he was uh, from actually what I just found out the other day. He was the second Batman. I thought he was the first ever Batman, but apparently there was a Batman from 1940s. I'm sorry. Do you know how old I am? Let me Google. You're 12. You're 12. I said 12 again. No, wait. Let me Google him. Adam <laughs> West. Wait a second. We're two years apart. How do you not know who Adam West is? Shh. Okay, I'm getting some beat up pictures. Hold on. Adam West, Batman. He's Batman. Oh, no. Maybe no, we could exclude Adam West from the... No, oh, okay. We could exclude Adam West. Yeah, we'll yeah. exclude him. He's of just too, too vanilla. So, hold on. They took Mark to court for building his platform? Yeah. So, we've been talking over this entire movie... And yeah, I'm not too not. mad at it because the conversation is great. Oh. <laughs> but basically, Facebook started because he couldn't get over his ex. So he made a like a like a slander type social media platform where people just talk shit about women. Oh, fantastic. OK. And these two other Harvard students came to him and say, we like what you did. Can you make something like that for us, but only for Harvard students to connect with people? Okay. And he said, sure, I can do that. But then he said, he didn't tell them that he wasn't going to do it. He just said, fuck them to himself. Mm -hmm. And he just started his own thing. That was their idea. Mm -hmm. And they're taking him to court for that. Which, obviously, you would lose because you can't sue somebody for an idea. So, is this actually, though, how Facebook started? Or is this just, you know, spicing it up or, like... It's a movie. Yeah. It's, don't don't take everything word for word. But it was definitely... There's definitely some truth to it. I was going to say, like, there has to be definitely some spice added into here just to make it a movie because... I mean, if I were to make a movie about your college life... Oh, boy. I would have to, I would have to add spice to it. Okay, and what exactly would you add? Because reading dictionaries <laughs> is just not going to cut it for moviegoers. <laughs> I don't know. Some publications of some dictionaries can get real spicy. No. Okay, see, what we would do is we'll have you in your dorm, mm-hmm. and you're like, what a boring day. I'm going to go read the dictionary. And then as you open the dictionary, a love letter falls out. Ooh, okay, I'm intrigued. Mm-hmm. It's a love letter. And you're going on the scavenger hunt to find this love letter. And then you have your big sister in your ear saying, mm-hmm. like, if he's not Middle Eastern, why should you care? Oh, don't care. Right? But then you have me, which is like the comic relief, mm-hmm. in your other ear. And I'm like, yeah, Nor's right. If he's not Middle Eastern, <laughs> <laughs> why would you care? <laughs> So what I'm what I'm understanding is you might be into Middle Eastern girls. No, I'm into all types of women, but I do have a preference. 
Uh, I wouldn't say a preference. I, w- I was going to say I do have like, I would say Latin women are like mm. number one, but mm-hmm. it's literally like all women. I'm definitely okay. cool with. My my ex was actually half Italian, half Sicilian. Half Italian? Half, isn't Sicily in Italy? No. <laughs> Sicily? Sicily. Yeah, like it's it's its own it's its own thing. Okay, but like the little island off of Italy, right? Yeah. Okay. So, yeah. did you eat a lot of good food? Um. So, <laughs> <laughs> I do. Co- I love to cook. I okay. do the cooking. Okay. All the time, she knows how to cook. She can. She just cooks like the same thing over and over. Like she can make meals that are edible. Mm-hmm. And I know mm-hmm. that sounds like rude to say to like an say. Italian woman, but the stuff she makes is not bad. But I'm a far better cook. Okay, I just you know Italian cuisine so simple but yet so delicious. Yeah, I mean she only cooks one thing that's like Italian. It's like sauce. Mm-hmm. That's it. Which I learned how to make it from from what she taught me. Hmm date them learn their tricks and then leave them all right got you yeah gotcha. learn from the best <laughs> who exactly are you learning from well i'm saying you need to learn from the best oh i was like excuse me i didn't know such thing but yes you learn from the authentic source mm-hmm, mm-hmm. and and i will say she was not skinny she wasn't plus size but she was not skinny either Okay, I'm not saying that girls need to be like pencil thin. Oh, I would. I don't discriminate to anyone. I would date a woman who is pencil thin, but I would prefer if they were not pencil thin. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Okay. I just want to put that out there. I am pro love your body, body shapes, you know, like I. Is that nor ruining the podcast? No, no. I'm literally, <laughs> all I'm saying is that I've come such a long way with my own body that last year um like after my birthday i was at like an all-time like pudginess and Pudgy, pudginess? pudginess yeah pudginess what is pudginess I don't like be blunt use, be blunt with us i don't like to use the f word chunky monkey yeah is that? you wanna you wanna put it like <laughs> that you know <laughs> someone said that someone said that the other day and i'm like i'm gonna i have to say this chunky <laughs> monkey oh god no but i was definitely like like a puffy a puffy person that's the best that's the best weight for a woman uh no no i was not yes. comfortable in my skin no yes no no my, my clothes were just fitting all tight I yes was the, i was the heaviest i had ever been in my life so I that's was what like, we want no and who is the who's this who is this is what we, we want oh, who's we? we do not want these skinny uh to pick oh i am definitely never eaten a burger oh before okay women. all right I, I don't know if you've seen a picture of me but i am definitely no toothpick no chopstick no straw no nothing i've seen okay? your instagram i've seen your instagram okay and i'm definitely not pencil thin <clears throat> oh wait but you don't know what i look like uh actually my sister did show me a picture no no yeah, <laughs> yeah she outed you <laughs> <laughs> she are you, outed you. Oh, wait, is it? I, was, <laughs> I, I have something really funny to show you. Wait, uh, you send it to so, you on Instagram? I'm gonna say, oh yeah, I'm gonna send it to you on Instagram. Mm-hmm. But if you didn't know what I look like, I was gonna send you this photo <laughs> and say, "Hey, I look like this, only a more tame version." Let's see. I have loaded my instagram app okay are you ready mm-hmm. okay i'm gonna send it right now so i look like this only um just ever so slightly less um or just shorter right because i'm five eight and a half <laughs> the half like <laughs> i look like this only just a little bit shorter oh <laughs> 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 so, <laughs> damn look at 
right? Look at those muscles. Now, now, let me tell you something. A lot of women find me very intimidating when they see me. I mean, I could see why. They call me, they think I look like a ninja turtle. Um, so my problem is with all that muscle, why are you only lifting, what is that, like five pound weights? What's wrong with that? No, nothing. I'm just saying that I expected heavier then. I don't lift with that. I carry them oh, you just with my can. every everyday things. Oh, right. That's what you work out your pinky with, right? Exactly. Okay. My apologies. Okay. 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 My well, workout. My workout routine normally consists of. Oh man, I eat like raw eggs every love morning. That. Okay. I um, I get up. I do tongue push ups. Oh. Do those mm-hmm. get easier and easier or like no? Well, they're a little easier than cock push ups, but the tongue push up <sighs> works. Um, and then after that, I do a really so how I cool down for my workout, mm-hmm. I take a very relaxing mud bath. Okay. In your in own neighbor. in your own bath or like no, oh, okay. in my neighbor's yard. Oh, in your neighbor's yard. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I live in a, a I live in a trailer park. <laughs> Just building the fantasy at this point. Uh, every woman listening right now should be. Is there any way that you could share this picture on the podcast? Anyhow, or no, this picture is never going to see like the light I of will, day. I will find a way. Okay, perfect. Because just geez, we need everybody to see this this beautiful piece of art. They well, you know, I uh, I guess it's art. I mean, is it? It's it's just me. I mean, yeah. Why is the body though significantly darker than the top of the head? But okay, I don't think you need to be asking such personal questions okay. <laughs> about just, me right now. Just, just wondering, maybe like you know, an even tanning session, which is what happened there. Well, when this photo was taken, Nora was there. Oh, was she? She didn't really mm-hmm. tell me about like this photo shoot that she did. She doesn't talk. She doesn't talk to me about a lot of things oh, that we talk about. Oh, sure. <laughs> Let's keep it that way. <laughs> she was there. She put some baby oil on me, mm. but um, clearly she put too much. I think just a little bit, especially on like the shoulders. Really, I thought there wasn't enough. No, no, no. The shoulders <laughs> definitely, and the abdomen. Like those two areas are very prevalent in shininess. Mm. Okay, but in in all seriousness, though. Oh boy, that means it's not going to be that serious. What's up? Well, I was going to say for how I look. Oh, okay. I am in. (laughs) I am in the best shape in my life. I love that for you. Best shape in my life. I've always. I think ever since like two thousand seventeen. I I've been working out and stuff like that, but then like two thousand eighteen, I've took it like to another level okay what's another level like working out every other day oh wow that's really good good for you now home workouts gym workouts oh i hate the gym it's all home workouts okay see those don't work for me because i why because you have you gotta have someone to look at no you're one of those people no 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 i just i see my bed and I see the dumbbells. And then I look back at my bed. And then I see the mm-hmm. dumbbells. That's motivation. And then I see the couch. That's motivation too. And then I see the fridge. Motivation. And then I look back at the dumbbells. And I'm like, no thanks. But, but like I was saying, one year ago, I was at an all-time puffiness. And I went on this strict, strict watch what I eat. I'm not going to call it a crash diet because I still ate everything that I wanted to. I was just really cautious about it. Mm-hmm. And I went to the gym for the first four months. I think I went like every single day. Um, and I ended up losing like 40 pounds. So really, yeah, like if you look at pictures of me now and what I was a you... year ago, completely different person. <clears throat> okay, so now we're going to have a serious conversation because I saw this. Someone had this type of conversation slash argument on Twitter. And mm-hmm. I found it very interesting. Mm-hmm. So like you said about... Um, a man's height, and some men might be insecure about that. Right. Um, have you done online dating before? No. Okay. So let's say if you were to do online dating, right? Too scary, and but okay. You, okay. You would ask a guy what his height was. 
Oh, one thousand. Okay, okay. Maybe I wouldn't ask, like. Oh, hi. You know, like, how are but, you? No, how's your weekend? Okay, oh, how but you, you want you want to ask them, right? I would definitely want to know. Yes. Okay. Now, he would. He will be one hundred percent. Totally, he'll totally tell you. But if, he'll ask me what my if, is. Yes, one hundred. I think that's very fair. It's very fair. I think it's I, very I think fair. It's, I think it's the same thing what men go through and what mm. women go through. I mean, I think it's horrible that both parties have to do that. Like I said, I mean, like, I don't care. I don't care. Like, like I, you know, I, I fully say I am guilty. I know that height should not matter, but like, after being with someone who was six feet, I just, I just, I can't. Oh, so your ex was six feet. When I first met him, he was six feet, and I think I swear when we were over, I swear he kept growing. So I think he was like six two by the end of it. So, how old was you when when you? He was one. He's one year younger than me. So he was eighteen. Yes. He probably didn't grow. Oh no, he did. Trust me. Was that was that a sex joke? No, I meant like. <laughs> <laughs> Ah, no, I meant, I genuinely think, because I, like, I looked at pictures, and it just seemed like he was, like, taller by the end of it. If I were to ask him right now what his height was, I would not be shocked if he told me that he was 6'2", but when I met him, he was 6 feet. I think the more you be with someone, you just... The taller they get again? (laughs) Yeah, that and then their height just kind of, like, for example, my ex is, like, 5'1". Oh, she petite. I guess. Is that what that is? Yeah. I call it fun size. Fun (laughs) size. Okay. She she petite. Oh. Right. But I didn't know that until like very much later on. Then I'm like, all right. Like, I didn't realize until I'm like, oh, wow. She's actually pretty small. Yeah. Like, I say anything under like. Five three is yeah that's that's not short but yeah that's 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 short. <laughs> for me, the perfect height for a woman is five six. The most perfect height. Five six. Damn, I'm just short of the cutoff. Oh, there's my the song. You're four left. Jesus Christ! This sh- okay, this movie is so Hollywood. <laughs> I'm not expecting to walk. Well, I live in Atlanta, so there are a lot of women who look like this. But it's usually a lot of women that you stay away from that look oh, like no. that as well. <laughs> so wait, if a girl's pretty, that means you, she's trouble? Well, here's the thing. I don't trust any woman that has uh, fake teeth. Fake teeth? Yeah. You think Brenda Song has fake teeth? She want, all, these, all these actors have fake teeth. Oh, gosh. They all do. Is it it's, snowing in the movie? Uh, in the movie, yes. On set, no. I was gonna say, like, <laughs> how are they gonna play it off that it's cold and this guy's wearing like a thin sweater? That snow is like CGI. Uh huh. Yeah, you can see the condensation in the air. <clears throat> Love that. Yeah, their breath. That's also CGI. Ah. Uh, they probably should have wore like thicker clothing if they wanted to pass it off as that cold. Here, he, well, here's the thing. The movies always do this. It can be blistering cold outside, and literally they have nothing on. Jeez. But, yeah. You watch any movie that's based in Vermont, blist 20 degrees outside. All they have on is a hoodie. 20 no degrees? Hat. I'm yeah. sorry, but that's like summer weather here. What do you mean? Okay, okay, perfect. Any Canadian movie from the Hallmark Channel, they have nothing on but a jacket. <laughs> 20 degrees? That's summer weather. You know, Nora keeps teasing me about that. And how like, oh, you don't know what cold is. You really don't. We've no, had, we do. Um, what was the coldest temperature you had? Thirty degrees. <laughs> I'm joking. <laughs> <laughs> it gets cold here. Oh, like what? Like ten degrees? Okay. What is your point? Okay. <laughs> My point is, is that we had minus forty. That's nothing. Oh, okay, you're right. Jog in that nothing. weather. I don't know if you know. I, I don't can, know if anyone told you. I've lived in that weather. I jog in that weather. Listen, when you are in bed with a Italian Sicilian woman, their feet are normally cold. Mm-hmm. So it is about negative sixty degrees. 
in the bed. Easy. Easy. Put some socks on. What? Yeah, you never heard of socks? You want me to tell her to put socks on? 1,000%. If your feet are cold, put some socks on. That is the ultimate disrespect. Is it now? You know where that will lead me? To go sleep outside? Exactly. (laughs) Then you should go put some socks on. No. Why would I put the socks on? Because you're going to go sleep outside. You just don't understand how this works. (laughs) You you just don't get it. What you know, is that it's, on the couch? Hold on. What is you're, that on the couch? Do you see that? Too young. It's a beer opener. That's lame. Okay, that was gonna be something else. What a condom? No, I just thought maybe it was like a like an Apple Air Tag back then. No, what? <laughs> Whatever no. an Apple Air Tag was back then. No, but I will say Mark Zetterberg is pretty much like another Steve Jobs. Kind of. I don't doubt it. They change the way we think. Mm-hmm. Yeah. <clears throat> I feel like I am ruining this movie for you, but it's also like, I always tell people, and I remember somebody commented on my on my YouTube channel about the podcast, like, oh, you know, you're ruining the movie for like, talking over it and stuff like that. I'm like, it's just a different way to watch the movie. 1, it's a completely different vibe. And I'm sure there's a lot of information, a lot of performances that you're missing out on. But also, this is just a fun conversation. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> he's so cute. Stop it. He's so cute. You're disrespecting him. Mm, I don't know if this was part of the first take second take or this take of our podcast but you should watch him and now you see me oh yeah you did say that i did mention it in one of our many trials uh yeah i'll watch it for the podcast maybe i'll watch it after t- 21 jump street i plan on watching that tonight oh i love that movie for the podcast yeah, i don't know about your taste of movies um you are Nor's sister. I am. And I, I'm starting to dis- to discover that Nor has horrible taste in movies. So, a fun fact about my sister and I, we are complete opposites. <laughs> you mean you're in a relationship? hey oh. No. I, <laughs> I mean, you know, she sees black, I see white. She goes left, I go right. Um, Like, complete opposites. 50 minutes. I'm bookmarking that. Nor has to hear that joke. No, that's so bad. Wait, so you two are complete opposites? Yes. Okay, okay. okay. So as much as I know Nor, mm-hmm. I'm just going to say some things about you. Yeah. And they should be true since you are, again, the complete opposite. Okay, try me. You like white boys. Well, it's not that I like them, but there are definitely some good looking ones. It's yes or no. You okay, like white yes, boys. I do. It's a yes. Yeah. You hate Batman. <laughs> Batman? <laughs> yes. No, I like Batman. Well, you said you two are opposites, and Nor absolutely loves Batman. I meant just like our personalities, not our interests. Look at Brenda's song. Jesus Christ. What is she doing? Oh, you know what she's doing. No, I mean like, you know, this is cool. That's what you want to do. I'm 100% for it, but don't think I'm going to wife you up later. <laughs> okay, well, what's wrong with that? What do you mean, what's wrong with that? So what? She does all that and she doesn't even get a ring out of it? Fuck no. Mm. <laughs> Hell no. Look at them two. They're so cute. Andrew and Jesse. So look at this. You see them together, right? Yeah, so how tall is Jesse? That's what I was about to say. <laughs> yeah, he's probably, he definitely has to be like 5'5". Five, five. Hold on. I'm Googling it doesn't it matter, though. Right it doesn't now. matter. He has money. Oh, got to remind me about that. Oh, look, 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 look. This scene right here. Look, this is about to be an awkward scene, and I'm pretty sure this reminds me of every conversation I had with my ex. Jeez.
Jeez. Yeah, that's not so bad. <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> An egg. Hold on. Hmm. That one black friend, like he's gonna do something. Sit your uncle ass, Tom, down. <laughs> well, he is sitting down, so. This is this is the core story of everything that that drives men. I'm doing more. No, it's always one of the a spark of motivation. And I'm not saying it's going to be the biggest motivation. It, it, I mean, it definitely shouldn't be the biggest motivation. But a spark of motivation that occurs in all men is literally a heartbreak or a rejection mm. from what from women. But why? Why can't you guys just be creative, come correct, and, like, do all these ambitious things without needing to, like, get your heart broken or getting rejected? Like, why? 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 We can. We, I mean, we can and we definitely have. Uh-huh. But I'm just saying rejection and heartbreak can also lead to a huge motivational shift. Mm. Yeah, but, you know, you could say the same for females. Of course. Yeah. Absolutely. Absolutely. Would you say you were on your way becoming a millionaire after you broke up with your ex? <laughs> uh, oh, wait. First of all, wait. First of all, who ended it? He did. Wow. Yeah. So you were the flawed one. No. <laughs> wait. That's what it means. No. <laughs> oh God! I'm so scared. He's gonna like, come across this podcast, and he's like, "What the fuck were you talking well, about?" Don't worry. We'll keep Michael's name out of it. Michael. <laughs> Who's Michael? <laughs> I mean Jacob. But, I mean he'll know who he is. Bobby. Oh, and my friends will know who he is. McFerrin, whatever his name is. Okay. Wait a second. Wait a second. Wait a second. Wait a second. First of all, let's start from the very beginning. What yeah. race is he? <laughs> is he if he's Middle Eastern, he's you're an not. absolute hypocrite. He's okay, not. Great. He's oh my god, he's a white guy? No. <laughs> Damn, you dating Asian guys? No, he's Trini. He's what? Trini. Like from Trinidad? Yes. I'm trying to imagine what that looks like. Uh <laughs> I don't really know how to, I can't describe it. Yeah, I'm trying to, hold on. People, I'm literally Googling, Googling people Oh, no, from no, no, you know what? No, that that's going to be a really bad representation. No, too late. Oh, boy. <laughs> oh, you're dating these type of <laughs> guy. <laughs> well, I was hoping you would ask what my type is so that I could tell you. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Let's start from the very beginning. Mm. Shadi, please tell us what your type of men is t d b tall dark and beard what t d b <laughs> tall dark beard tall dark beard t d b okay so they have to be tall mm. they have to be dark mm-hmm. so you don't like white boys listen i you know what i keep saying tall dark beard tall dark beard i'm probably gonna end up with some white boy that has not even one single like facial hair on his face like watch watch the universe is gonna be like this is what's meant for you Mm. okay so tall dark beard Mm -hmm. uh what type of personality Mm. what is this she has nothing there she's a cardboard sorry are you talking about her oh there's justin I totally forgot that he was in this movie. I know I saw his name and we, I don't know if we spoke about it in this take, the first one, second yeah. one, but I did not know that he was in this movie as well. And See, I, these are, yes. I'm oh, sorry. I was going to say, these are the, these are the two picks we were talking about earlier. Mm. She's very skinny. She is. I can tell you from working on set, 
actresses like this are extremely skinny in person. Because it's it's one hundred percent true that the camera does add ten extra pounds. Does it actually? Yeah. Jeez, that's so. But why is that? Um, <clears throat> it's it's hard to explain, but it's basically the 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 camera and the naked eye just see the world a lot differently. Okay. Right. Um, oh, I'm just forgetting how young he was. Yeah, he's pretty young. She looks so basic, and I love that. <laughs> I'm going to get to my type soon. But okay, let's continue with your, your personality of your guys. Um. Oh, wow. I'm going to sound like so basic, but I just really want someone who is going to make me laugh. But... And not super, super nice. Like, I want someone that's going to be able to, like, have debates with me and push back a little bit and, like... So you want an asshole? No, no. But I feel like there's definitely, like, room for some sarcasm. Like, I, I, I find the nice guys don't win. Hmm. I, like, I totally believe nice guys don't win. And but you calling guys cute means that they're a nice guy. No. Being cute. When you looked at Jesse Eisenberg... What did you think he was, an asshole? Have you seen him and now you see me? He could be okay. an asshole, okay? Okay, okay, okay. No, you can't really talk about actors, because like, we don't actually know what their personality is like. We've seen them in so many different like roles and personalities that we don't actually know who the real, you know, Andrew Garfield is or Jesse Eisenberg is. She snapped, but I could have been killed. She snapped. Okay, that's very true. Okay, so personality, you guy's sense of humor, you want him to be slightly dickish. Like, like ever so slightly, you know, like keep me on my toes, you know, like be able to like push back a little bit, throw in some sarcasm. I want to be able to like mm-hmm. debate things with you and have like, you know, discussions with you. I don't want someone who is exactly like me. That's that's the thing. Right. I want us to be able to have like conflict of interest. I want us to be able to like bring different things to the table. But right. like all in all, I really just want someone who's gonna like have fun with me in like a grocery store. You know, like let's go down Wait, the aisle. Like, when we go grocery shopping to like, you know, for our future. Like, oh <laughs> that's what I mean. Like I wanna just be able to have fun doing the simplest like like things. You know? Jesus Christ. I thought you were about to say that Janine Ariko quote. What what quote are you talking about? The grocery store quote. You don't. You don't remember what she said. Do you know who that is? No. She's she's a very popular R and B singer who is mostly known for just featuring on other people's stuff. She's in a lot of Drake songs. Huh. So what? Just because I'm from Toronto, I can just know all of Drake's songs. Yes. Okay. Fair enough. <laughs> because Nor does apparently. Um, mm. She had a quote where she says, "I need to find me a man." that's gonna eat my booty like groceries <laughs> oh that's the line yep that's her uh yes no but that's not what i was talking about i was just talking about something more pg related where Uh-oh. it's just to have fun grocery shopping i see you know i, I want to be able to have fun like going to the park going to the mall like these like simple simple adventures like you got to be able to make them fun for me okay um and he has to like traveling. If you don't like traveling, then we're just not going to work out. Okay, so you don't want an introvert. Absolutely not. Wow. Wow. But like, mm, but I also don't want someone super, super loud either, if that makes sense. No, it doesn't. Not, that that, <laughs> not saying that I'm loud or anything, but I'm super, I'd say I'm charismatic. I have no problem like talking to new people making new friends i'm not super reserved or like what's the word i'm looking for like conservative right um Mm -hmm. i have no like i have no problem starting conversations with new people but i don't know i want like okay i guess in that aspect i'd rather the guy be like me to obviously like be able to like hold a conversation down and you know want to get to know me but like interest wise like for chicken wings, let's say. Like my ex, he liked what? girls, I like flats. And we just worked, you know? Like, 
Wait, I I even forgot what question I asked you. You went you on a whole tangent. Me, because you asked me what, like personality style, and I was like, yeah, I asked you for a personality, why. and then you went on in this whole grand story about we have to have fun at the grocery store. Yeah, but there's like that's what your personality like. You got to make sure that I have fun my entire life with you. That's a hard task to to have. It's not. It's not hard. Okay, so you're gonna stand up with somebody or what? It's not difficult at all. Whoa, 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 whoa. shoddy. You just said you weren't looking for anyone. I'm not. <laughs> I wanted to see Are you, you were listening. No, 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 no. I genuinely am not. I mean, you could really genuinely ask my sister. Like, I'm I'm just having so much fun with, like, my friends and my we family. We are not going to ask Nora. Oh, we're not going to ask her anything? Oh, okay. If we were to ask Nora, if we were to put her on the podcast right now, and I'd be like, so shoddy's love life, what would you say? She'll, f- first, she would be like, so my sister is kind of, you know, she's out there. But recently, I've been trying to find some guys to talk to and then trying to find some online date. She'll just make it about her. Yeah, there's nothing that she could really say about mine. She'd be like, what love life? i am like, exactly. Do you talk to her about it? Um, not really. I... Mm. It's just because so you're, you're living just, a double life. No, no, just because there's not really much to say. Like I really promise you, like I'm not that spicy of a person right now. If sure you were to not. have, if you were to have this podcast with me, like three, four years ago, maybe, maybe. Wait, why like, would why? it be more spicy? You're in, a, you're, you were just, in a relationship. At, but it was a very really spicy relationship. Oh, toxic. Um, no, um. Like, I genuinely, like, I loved him so much. And it's crazy. I was thinking about it just, like, today that I don't think I will ever love somebody the way I loved him because... Oh, God. Don't no, ever no, no, say no, that. No, 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 no. Because... <laughs> no, because... Every guy listening to this who's interested in you right now literally just logged off. <laughs> no, I have such a fair point. It's because it'll be a different type of love. I was 19. I was teenager just freshly 20 coming out of university like at that age you're just so naive and yet you have so much to learn so I'm not gonna say it was a childish love but it was young love I will never have that love again you know what I mean I have now a more mature love a more a love that you know has obviously learned from my past relationships and have I I am a completely different person from like coming out of that relationship who I was then and who I am now I'm very very different I'm not gonna say I'm perfect I'm far from it but Mm -hmm. just like I've learned so much from him and shout out to him he knows if he's listening to this he is if he's not okay better we're gonna talk about him in a second are we not talking about him this entire time I thought this movie you you went off on another tangent (laughs) I asked you one question and you started talking about a different type of love a young love yeah because that's what it was and i will never experience that again so it's fair to say i'll never love someone the way i liked him i'll love them better any guy who's gonna start dating you is gonna listen to this no okay and the first thing they're gonna listen to first thing they're gonna listen to is i would never love anyone else like i love my ex no (laughs) no you are just making this way worse what i meant to say is that it'll be better It'll be a better love. Sure, it will. It will because be because you, you won't ever love anyone like you love your no, ex. No, that's that's <laughs> not it. Like I actually have like no no animosity. There's like no like no nothing. There's nothing like attaching me to him. Like really and truly, I wish him well, and I hope he's happy with whatever he's doing. But oh, oh, oh we don't wish him anything. Not no, yet. Not yet. Oh, not yet. Okay. So we got to the personality of what you like in a guy. Um, money range. You, uh, <laughs> you said this before. He has to be making at least 300K. <laughs> I did not say 300K. Okay. 100K. Um, That'd be nice, but I know that's not like super, super tangible. Okay. So. Realistically, what can what does a guy have to make in order for okay, you to be satisfied? It's like like 80 at least 80? Yeah, but I'm not asking for him to be, like, you know, making 80 at age 25. Because, like, you know, that's... <clears throat> okay, so he can... He can he has to work his way up to 80. Yes, he can totally 
totally work his way up. I'm totally okay, you know, like okay. hand holding. <laughs> While you know we both build our empire. <laughs> You know, like, having someone, like, by your side while, you know, you go through these, like, stages of life. Like, I'm down for that. But, like, I'm also not looking. So. You keep saying this. Clearly you are. I'm really not. No, no, no. (laughs) Like, I'm really not. This podcast episode is actually a dating profile for you. Jeez, this is insane. (laughs) I did not sign up for this. I thought I was going to be watching Andrew Garfield and cute little Jesse and now Justin Timberlake. So. Okay, is that all? Is that is that everything? I feel like that is everything. For you to, to build the perfect guy. You know, Does it matter what kind of car he drives? Absolutely not. Wow. I found like I'm just being so shallow right now. So I just, Nor you know. is the opposite. <laughs> Literally. Because I know she's super into cars. Yeah. I mean, cars are nice. But like, I'm not picky. Like if you, like if your, if my man's dream car is a Fiat, and he was able to obtain it, you go, future man, okay? Like, good for you. If you were able to get your dream car, the car that you love, who might it be like, no? Because my dream car, maybe someone doesn't like my dream car. Okay. Okay, cool. So this relationship started with your ex at 19. Yes. You, he was 18. Yes. You, you two met in... Well, technically. Said... Well, technically. Okay. Uh, our birthdays are both in the summer. That doesn't matter. So no, but we met like in the February of that year. So technically, he was seventeen. I was eighteen. Okay. Well, like yes, we we're both turning eighteen and nineteen. Yes. None of that astrology stuff matters. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> it's not gonna matter. It doesn't. So wait, you two share the same birthday month? No. Okay. No. What what is what is his sign? Oh, if I tell you. Our I literally, I literally astrology don't know viewers anything. are gonna be like, oh well. Mm. Okay, go ahead, go for it. He's a Gemini. Okay, a Gemini, and then what are you? I'm a Leo. A Leo. Okay. The only sign that matters. Shout out to okay. my fellow uh, fellow Leos. Okay. Okay. Say that again. I want you to say that again. Shout out to my fellow Leos. Okay. Now, do you hear that? Hear what? Oh, the. <laughs> The silence that no one cares. <laughs> I'm sure there's going to be some people in the comments saying Leos are the best. And I'm sure I'm going to see some comments that say Leos are the worst. That's okay. And though. all those people will be single. <laughs> I, that, I feel like that has literally nothing to do with finding a partner. All that astrologiness. You're signs. the one who asks for the birthdays, and I'm just I'm just here to prove a point, because clearly you two wait are Gemini's and Leos meant to be opposites or together? Um, honestly, that I don't know. I just know that Gemini's nor are, knows nor knows. Gemini's are just a complicated sign, you know. I'm gonna text Nor and she'll tell me really fast. Oh, but God. so you two met at work? Yes. At a grocery store? Yes. He was a bag boy? No, he like... Oh, he... Oh, ooh, ooh. He worked in meats. No. I see. No. That's why you're Oh, God, no. He knows how to handle the meat. Oh, God, no. (laughs) Oh, God, no. Um, No, no. He worked in the, like, the grocery department. You said the grocery apartment? Mm Mm-hmm. The whole thing is a grocery store. Understand. But like there is the meat department, then there's the dairy department, there's bakery, there is like frozen. Have you been to a grocery store recently? No. Okay. That's good. <laughs> you do that online grocery delivery, don't you? Well, every time I walk into a grocery store, I black out and I oh, leave. Good. I and I regain consciousness with a bag of groceries in my hand. Ah, okay. That <laughs> makes sh- that not, makes sense now. Not sure if it was what I was supposed to get. Okay. What are your go to groceries? Um well, olive oil. Okay, yes, gotta have that. Um That's good. I would say a healthy diet. Olive oil, salt, pepper, salt, pepper. Okay. Spices. Ooh. A lot of salt, a lot of pepper, a lot of um, uh, chipotle pepper. Okay. Oh, so you like it spicy? Okay. Mm, no, I actually hate spicy food. 
You hate but spicy food. I put it food. on there because it's, yeah, I don't like spicy food. But I put it on there because look, you're calling me a bitch in your mind right now. No, <laughs> no, 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 <laughs> no, no, no. Just continue with your grocery list. Okay, so chipotle pepper, I get, um, well, I love to bake. Okay. So I get you a know, lot of baking stuff. I'm sure you know chocolate. that my sister bakes. Yes, she has told me that she has uh, attempted to burn the house down a few times. Um, You should ask her about the time that she tried to make macaroons. Oh, my God. I've seen that. Oh, my I God. She you... sent me the picture, and I told her, I was like, no worries. These look like pancakes. <laughs> um, That's a very nice way to put it. They look worse than pancakes, okay? Oh, my God. Let me actually tell you. This might be a little, like, fun fact of the Zachary sisters. I was in the shower when she, like, put them in the oven. I knew she was baking them, right? But she's like, okay, like, I have to put them in the oven for, like, X amount of minutes. And I'm like, okay, well, I'm going to go shower. So, like, hopefully, like, by the time I come out, they're ready. I... <laughs> I hear someone barge into the bathroom, half crying, half laughing. So, like, I push the curtain aside to see, like, what what's happening. And mm. the look on my sister's face, she brought in the whole tray of these, like, deflated, leaking macaroni. I don't know what you want to call it. In the bathroom? In the bathroom. <laughs> <laughs> and I literally never laughed so hard but i think she was also like on the verge of crying because of how hard she worked for these macaroons <laughs> the picture i i put it in my favorites my my favorite album you will see these attempted macaroons be baked yes. for my sister yes when she showed when she showed me the picture i took a picture of my of my uh home home screen yeah because i said it to that <laughs> <gasps> oh no <laughs> That's a little aggressive. Oh my god, wait, I'm gonna find the picture right now. <laughs> Nora, when you're listening to this, we love you. Oh my we, god. We're supporting you right now. <laughs> Honestly, she makes a really mean cookie. So like shout out. Uh that's what she said. <laughs> oh my god. She makes a really good chocolate chip cookie. Ooh, that's what the black girl said. Oh god. <laughs> Mm -mm -mm -mm. so yes you said your grocery list consists of baking items yeah chocolates like just um i would say like chocolate chips okay dark dark chocolate chips maybe some white chocolate chips um f flour sugar all this stuff are you a um, vegetarian no no i eat meats but i'm starting to like not over the course of like three years, mm -hmm. I've been like really declining on eating red meat. Okay. But what about like fish, poultry? Love fish. Mm -hmm. Salmon is like my go to. Oh, that's what I had just tonight. Yeah. Yeah. Chicken. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Uh later on I would show you my baking. My 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 well, wait, wait, baking. wait. What's this chicken doing? Hold on. I like looked at the screen and I saw a chicken. Oh, they're going to have sex with it later. That's the oh, next scene. Oh, okay, okay. Maybe I'll just like pause on the actual talking part of the podcast to actually just watch that happen. Yeah, they said if everything goes to shit with Facebook, they swore to have sex with the chicken. Mm, mm -hmm. That's okay. understandable. Okay. Yeah. So, uh, see, you're deflecting. We talked about my grocery list for no reason. We were talking about your relationship. Ugh. Uh, what more is there to say? You two, oh, whoa. I think there's a lot. Okay, you dated for four years. Yes. There's a lot to say. Uh huh. You met at a grocery store. Uh huh. You had an inappropriate uh, work relationship. I mean, we kept it very professional, but yeah, sure. <laughs> I'm sure I'm sure 19 year olds keep it very professional. Yes, we did. <laughs> yes. And he is Trinidad. Mm hmm. So with that said, mm -hmm. did your parents like him? Um yeah they never like noticed any red flags but we also just didn't hang out a lot at my place 
Hmm. Yeah. But they had no problems, like, with him or, like, me being with him. But, yeah, like, he never really hung out with my parents, if that makes any sense. Uh, that makes sense. I never hung out with my ex's parents, mostly because they lived on the other side of the freaking world. Country. Oh, country. Yeah. Okay. Well, sometimes they would be on the other side of the world. Mm. They would be in Italy sometimes. Oh, lucky them. Yeah. Italy, Germany, they would travel so much. Oh, the life. Yeah. So. Actually, fun fact, I never met her parents. <laughs> Wait, actually? No, because because of uh, it was such a weird time. Because we started dating in 2018. Okay. And she is the type of person that travels. Uh-huh. But she doesn't stay at one place for too long. Okay. Which is seriously a problem. Because <laughs> uh, she, she lived in Spain for a few years. Mm-hmm. Uh, then she lived in uh, uh, South Korea. Oh, wow. For four years. Then she lived in Italy for a few amount of years as well. Wow. Yeah. Big time traveler. Then, right, yeah. And she's a lot older, too. She was like, I believe, 32 okay. when we first started dating. Hey, so you dated an older girl. Yeah, I like them cougars. No, I'm joking. Ooh, <laughs> okay. Yeah, but she looks a lot younger. Like, she doesn't look like, you know. I feel like I feel like Italian women... Once they hit, they look young until they hit, like, 24. And then once they hit 24, they're going to look that age for, like, the next 30, 40 years. Hmm. Lucky them. At least, Good you. maybe that's just me. Yeah. Well, you know, women love that, looking young, so. Oh. What a throw. Oh. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Just randomly threw some beers. Okay. I'm throwing them. Okay, so yeah, we started dating 2018. Um, then from the two years, because her family lives all the way in Vermont. Uh huh. Super far. All this stuff, and then when we had the opportunity. To go visit them for like a holidays or whatever. We kind of had like a really big argument. And we're kind of like, you know. Taking some time apart Mm -hmm. or whatever. So that timing was off. And then the whole pandemic thing happened. And Mm. definitely wasn't going anywhere. Because when the pandemic happened, that was like two years. Two years in. Oh, right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Did they know about you? Oh, yeah, of course. Okay. They would, yeah, her mom would always ask about me. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah, I wish I could have met them. They seem like very lovely people. And I wish I could have met her sister. So, why'd you guys break up? Oh, before we get to that, you're deflecting again. Oh, geez. There's no way I'm going to tell you how my relationship (laughs) ended before we find out how your boyfriend left you. Because of your flaws and insecurities. <laughs> uh huh. Uh huh. So you two were dating for four years. Yes. Were they great? Like the years? Yeah. Yeah, they were amazing. Any any regrets? No, no. Any unfaithfulness? No. None. No. Why did you say that so fast? <laughs> <laughs> you said no so fast. Something you want to tell the podcast? Oh, God, no. No, no. They Okay, do you want to actually why I'm a little, like, confused right now? Because I'm looking Here we at... go. No, no. I'm looking at the title of, like, the Zancaster link, and network is spelled incorrectly. What? Network? Yeah. Oh, on my thing? Yeah. Oh, man. I spelled network wrong. Yeah, I was looking at it. I'm like, hmm, that is wrong, yes? <laughs> Yeah, my bad. My bad. All right, but no. hey, you know what else? What's up? You know what else? You're you're deflecting. Okay, well I just Again. All right. 
Um, I'm starting to know this trend. Maybe I'm starting to understand why this guy had a little problem. No. <laughs> I mean, there could have been, but I never knew about it. But I don't think so. Wait a second. Everything just changed now. You said that there wasn't. No, no, there really you wasn't. You were 100% sure it wasn't. And now you said there could have been. So why I say that is because now, like, the reason why he left, I could I could see, like, okay, are you going to ask me why he left now so that it all makes sense? No. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> we'll save it for... No, yeah, please, please. So he basically just wanted to experience other people. He oh, that, yeah. he wanted an upgrade. Oh, wow. Wow. He upgraded. That's what that is. See, this is why people have such a hard time when they're like dating their like high school lovers or dating so young and stuff like that. Or here's the thing. Women women have told me that never marry the first person you have sex with. Why is that? Because you're always going to be wondering what else is out there. Um, We were not each other's firsts. Okay. Yeah. But well that idea went to shit. I don't think <laughs> I don't really think there's an upgrade from me though, to be honest. And if, of, if of course you should you should feel that way. If he's listening to this, then he damn well knows it as well, but yeah, there is no upgrade. It it is going to be his loss, and he'll know it one day. He will he'll never probably admit it to me or admit it to anybody or even admit it to himself, but deep down I know he'll know. That's funny you say that, and then he just wins the lottery the next day. <laughs> <laughs> well, he better remember me. What the fuck? No, he's definitely forgotten all about the four years at the grocery store. Uh, he's dating someone like Brenda Song as we speak. <laughs> I mean, she is pretty, so I don't. I don't even. I can't even be mad at that. Okay, so within these four years, no, no infidelity. Uh, everything was relatively smooth. Yes, relatively. Both of you loved each other. Parents loved each other. Did, did his parents love you? Oh, they loved me. They still love me. No. Oh, don't ever say that. Well, they, no. they do. <laughs> no. They still love me. Dude, that is the worst thing a woman can say to a guy or to an ex. Well, I mean, it's true, so. Wow. Okay. So tell us why did the relationship end it? Because he broke up with you. Um, yes, he he broke up with me, and it took me a long time to realize like what could the actual reason be. Because he gave me just so many all at once. Um, you can just give one. You don't gotta give one. But give <laughs> he he said it's because he wants to experience other people. He said that okay. he's so young and he thinks that that's a that's weird. I mean. Um, his reasons are valid. Like, you know, um, I don't want someone to be with me and think that there's someone better out there than me. Right. So like, if you think there is go find it, but once you realize you're wrong, don't come back and say I made a mistake or. So you wouldn't take him back. Um, right now. No, just cause like, there are things that we've spoke about and like our views on relationships and life are like very very different now so no i don't think i could ever see myself being with him and both of us being happy so no i don't think so wow yeah which is uh it's okay honestly like it's bittersweet right like i you obviously go into a relationship thinking like i'm gonna marry this person or like they're gonna be in they're gonna be in my life right um and I genuinely, genuinely thought that four years ago, even like, I even say like maybe like six months into the relationship, I could have even seen it too, even at that young age. But, you know, everyone, everyone says that crap. But, you know, even the time after our relationship, I thought like, you know, time apart, he would realize that like he's missing out on like a diamond while looking for rocks, you know, that's that perfect saying. <laughs> But in the meantime, he's just like, damn, I'm loving my life. <laughs> and if he is, like, and if he is, honestly, there's no hard feelings. Like, there really isn't. But there will be one day where he'll look back. Wait, wait. You keep saying this. You keep saying this. Because I know. But he's going to regret it. I don't think so. What if he doesn't? Then if he doesn't, he doesn't. That's great. Then he gets to live his life happily. So it would be a lot better for you. You would feel so much more 
satisfied if he did regret it. No, because then you know what? Then he's gonna like what if he if he ends up coming to me and says that? Then like what the fuck does that put me like in a crappy position where it's like do I take you back because that's exactly what I wanted to hear all these years? Or is that just kind of like a haha moment for me, right? Like I'd rather not hear about it. Because mm. what if I moved on by then? But him saying that actually turns out to be me not actually moving on because when he does say it, I'll be like, ooh, all right, let's get back together. Like, no, no. I feel mm. like I spoke a mile a minute. I hope everyone, like... Like was like, keeping up with that. All of our listeners completely zoned out. <laughs> well, perfect. <laughs> then they won't hear all the crap I've been saying. They have one hundred percent fell asleep. Perfect. Your ex has tuned in and, and everybody else to the juicy out. part, and then still fell asleep. <laughs> ah no, he knows. That the, I'm not saying anything that he doesn't already like know about how I feel about him and about how things happen. So. But if you see some like fuck that girl comment on your on your podcast, just know that's him, probably. He shouldn't be feeling salty like that. No, I don't think so. Not if he ended it. Yeah, thank <laughs> you, right? Yeah, you made no the decision to leave. So like yeah, yo. There's no, there's no way. Wait a second. Here's a here's a question. Mm-hmm. I have an answer. I hope you do. Oh boy, I hope I do too. At this point, <laughs> yeah. Well, the the he's been dating, right? I think so. Yeah. Okay, so the moment after you two guys broke up, mm-hmm. like I would say, the next week. Mm, no, I mean no. honestly, like I I really wouldn't know. Like I I cut all like communication off, um, but. Uh... I did. Like, I unfollowed him on all like social media, um, but I found out like six months after that he was in another relationship. But I didn't ask any questions of like when did you guys start? How did you guys start? I didn't ask any questions because um, I wasn't like completely over him. Um, but you know, I, I thought to myself, you know what? Good. I hope you date other people and i hope you find out that there's no one like me out there so i hope you find out but that was me like what how many years ago was that that's like what two two three years ago Mm -hmm. the shoddy me right now i mean i just hope he's happy whatever he's doing like literally that's it no animosity no bad blood no nothing that's awesome yeah I wish most exes felt that way. Yeah, like... They do not. I know that... <laughs> especially if they're the ones I got broken up with. But, no, no. I I know what I bring to the table. I know, um, like, who I am, how I can be in a relationship, and whoever I do end up with is going to be super, super lucky. So, mm. and until then, I'm totally okay waiting until the right person comes along. Because I will not go through that again. Those four years, as much as they were amazing, and I honest, I do not regret it, but it was exhausting. Really? Yeah. Maybe that was maybe that was my problem in relationship. I didn't find it exhausting. Oh no. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? I could see how that could be a downfall in a relationship as well. Maybe. Well, I'm so uh, I'm totally an introvert. Mm-hmm. Right. I can spend an entire year in my house not talking to a single soul They're and be crazy. very happy. No, it could never be me. She is a mixture of both. Like, she's an introvert, too, but she loves going out, right? Okay. Like, for an example, she loves traveling. She likes going out to places uh, and and whatnot, but it has to be, like, within her niche, but she doesn't really like talking to people. Huh. So she's down for the adventure, but doesn't want to talk to people while on the adventure. Right. Like a good example I can give you, for example, because her family, her family lives in Vermont and she's also lived in Boston for Mm -hmm. a good amount of years. So they're like really into baseball. Mm -hmm. They love the, the, the Red Sox. So once for her birthday... 
um, mm-hmm. I surprised her with a custom made jersey, a Red Sox jersey, with her with her favorite number and her last name on the back of it. Okay. And I took her to a Red Sox game that was in okay. town. <clears throat> and she loves baseball. She loves the Red Sox, right? She loved being there. But then she did not like the people that were there. The people that were there? Yeah, like she's not accustomed to like, I don't know, maybe, I mean, she's born in America. She lived in America. Well, I'll say this. Vermont is its own country, so she's not used to, she thought, she hated Atlanta. She absolutely hated Georgia Mm -hmm. because it's so foreign to her. It was a complete culture shock. The people there she thought were a bit rude and selfish. People at the game were talking shit. Oh, about the, the Red Sox and you know it's a baseball game like that's what people do yeah and she just did not like that whatsoever jeez but that okay that's a little sporting events though you know exactly that's what I'm saying yeah you go to hear the banter and the the shit talk and right you go to hear all that you don't get right. that through a TV right I took her to a, a WNBA game mm-hmm. you know women's basketball and I don't think she had fun at all <laughs> <laughs> but it's so funny she always complains like i'd never take her anywhere or stuff like that but i was like feel free to come up with ideas <laughs> that you'll actually enjoy <laughs> yeah oh well i mean at least you made the effort the effort's what counts i guess i mean looking back on it i definitely could have made more of an effort mm. I, I was definitely coasting through a lot of it <laughs> Hence the didn't feel exhausting. Yeah, but I'm just so comfortable doing anything else. Yo, what is this chick doing? Yo, Yo that, is, that is your girl, eh? You can claim Brenda that Song. That is 100%. That would be my ex. <laughs> 100%. Oh, my God. Wait a second. So was your ex emotional? Mm-hmm. I don't know. He was just like Bruce Wayne, just showed no emotion. <laughs> oh no, he did. I I would definitely say that like, um, I definitely saw the most emotional sides of him. But at times, I felt like I didn't recognize the person that I was talking to or arguing with. What do you mean? You mean like after so many years, you felt like they changed? Um, no, but like when like when he was over the relationship. And he just wasn't willing to like fight for it, or like, oh, yeah, I just felt like, damn, yeah, I feel like that's my problem. Uh, <laughs> well, like any emotion <laughs> that I had like seen and un- like veiled from him, like mm-hmm. it just kind of went all out the window. Okay, yeah. okay, I will one hundred percent open up and say that was definitely my flaw in the relationship. And since it was my first relationship, I was so happy to be able to learn all the things because it was a complete Mm -hmm. learning experience for me sure and i 100 percent. i keep saying 100 percent. i 200 (laughs) percent. just jump to a thousand yeah i 1000 percent didn't uh convey i didn't show her my emotions enough i was i'm a very emotional human being okay what the yeah this is totally my ex (laughs) yeah (laughs) No, I'm joking. She would never burn my stuff. Um, but okay. <clears throat> Shit. What? So what is she doing? Wait. I don't want you to tip it on the bed. Jeez. I can't wait to call the cops on you. I cannot wait. Jeez. <laughs> Buddy, why are we not putting out the fire? Pick up the thing. Boy, that's probably too hot. Oh my god! What? How do you have just a fire extinguisher in? In that's clutch of your that's clutch that's clutch I mean, now spray it on her she left <laughs> okay all right so back to what i was saying i i'm definitely an emotional human being a very emotional human being but i didn't know in a relationship that i was compressing my emotions mm. because i didn't want to feel like i was a burden 
to her whenever I felt like there was something wrong or oh, I felt the wow. way and I just didn't want to ruin the mood or how she was feeling because she was she's the type of human being that definitely has her mood swings every single day shout out to all and, girls oh she's back well, oh breaking up with you Lady, I'm suing you. Yeah, right? Like, what? <laughs> well, I'm not going to lie. I would be a little turned on. <laughs> You're so from the fire she just set? Yeah, I love crazy women. But uh-huh. I would know how to limit that. But yeah, I didn't know how to convey my emotions better. I didn't know how to communicate better in a relationship. Hmm. I mean, communication is, like, key. Overrated, key, key. right? Oh. Yeah, I know. No, <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm joking. I'm joking. No, not not overrated, but like you know, they obviously say it for a reason that communication is key, right? So absolutely. So absolutely. I can see how that was the downfall. But the thing with her is as well. She there's just so many things going against it because she just she just hates America. <laughs> so is she gonna like move or? Um, I'm pretty, she was gearing up, like literally on the final stages of our relationship, she was telling me, she was like, why don't we just move to Columbia? Oh, geez. I was like, what the fuck am I going to do in Columbia? Yeah, like my <laughs> life is here. <laughs> yeah, I have like a, cur- uh, well, I like have a career here yeah. and I have like a, well, a career that I'm like, eh, iffy about, but. I like I know people here. My yeah, family's here. What the fuck here. am I doing in Colombia? Right, and she's like, it's so easy. She was, she told me it's so easy to find a job there. We literally have like a phone job, just talking on the phone, answering calls, stuff like that. You'll make good money, simple living. Mm, no, thank you. I don't want to think simple yeah. in my life. Yeah, I just yeah. That'll be but too clearly, mindless. But clearly, that's her though like Hmm. she just loves traveling she just loves anything that's just not american the food here she absolutely hated it everything was too salty for her which is which is very fair to say you're right she hated the food she did not like the events she didn't like the people she did not like the the neighborhoods around atlanta damn so where is she now Now she is in Florida. Oh, so she's still in America. Yeah, but I'm pretty sure she would. She's more than likely going to leave. Mm, okay. Well, safe travels to her and all of her adventures. Of course, of course. Fuck her. No, I'm joking. <laughs> yeah, <we're> safe travels. <laughs> I 100 percent feel the exact same way that you do, and I mm. wish her all the best. Aww. That's good. That was going to be my last question. Psych. No. I'm no. Kidding, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I do. I, I, I truly, I truly do. That's good. And yeah, for my first relationship is so. Um, oh, this guy's in pajamas. I love it. Yeah, I guess this is like an iconic scene or whatever. I love it. Okay. With the middle fingers. Okay. Sorry, yes. You sound you, were saying. you sound just like Nor. No, I don't. <laughs> she says the exact same stuff. She's like, no, 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 no. Okay. Okay. Yeah, she did that for me. You can tell her I said that. How did she take it from you when she was she's lived longer? No, 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 no. I bring yeah, this you're doing home. it again. You're doing I the Nor thing. Home. You can ask her right now. <laughs> you you can't ask her right now. Mm-hmm. She'll definitely say should I get her? I wonder how many people work for Facebook now. Oh my gosh. I I still bet it's like a like a huge space of people, but not as I bet it's like people who also work for Instagram too. Well, didn't Facebook Yeah, they uh, own it. Yeah, I'm going to say like they're the granddaddy of all social platforms. They don't own TikTok though. Jeez. Do they? No, I don't think so. No, TikTok is so random. I don't know how Vine didn't survive, but TikTok. Right. Like, 
Well, like they say, they say Vine didn't survive because literally it was getting like really adult ish, and there was like a lot of like porno stuff on there. But I could and that kids were looking at it. I could swear that they could say the same thing with TikTok. No. Well, here's the thing, and here's where I think TikTok is wrong because Twitter does the exact same thing, and I love Twitter. Twitter is the best platform ever. Mm, I like Twitter. But TikTok literally. Oh! Oh! Uh, call security <laughs> this is literally your ex <laughs> no I, he's so unproblematic did not cause no scenes this is nor after one date fails oh, geez. <laughs> i told you the newer jokes are not over <laughs> jeez Mm. Yeah. Tis task. What were we talking about? Oh yeah, TikTok. So you're saying there's like, isn't there like porn related stuff on there? The thing is with TikTok, with TikTok and Instagram, you can get away with posting like near nudity and exploited stuff on these platforms mm -hmm. but only if you have a large following if you don't have a large following they'll completely ban you and all yeah, that yeah i was gonna say it's the same thing with instagram right like how come these these girls can literally post their bums and nothing happens it's because of their following they're bringing mm. traffic they're they're bringing the views yeah yeah but tiktok i can't i can't get into it I will lose so much time on TikTok. No. Oh, he is so cute. Okay. It's literally what you said to your ex. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you will never find another diamond like me. Straight asshole. up. No, I'm we'll coming cut, back cut the for the rest. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, the rest of what? <laughs> Oh, jeez. Oh. Oh. You saw the Spider-Man reflexes? Jeez. Spidey senses. Mm. How he... How how he flinched like that and the security guards didn't even like... Didn't even grab him. I could have took one step forward mm -hmm. and they would have shot me. Oh. <laughs> this guy said shoot me. They would have shot me ten times on the ground, and you know what? What would happen? You wouldn't even get no justice. They would say, "Stop resisting." <laughs> oh no! Getting to a whole other topic just now. You're under arrest, sir. For what? <laughs> Stepping forward. I'll, did he say just say I'll send him flowers? Mm-hmm. Oh jeez! I will one hundred percent watch a biopic of your of your love life <laughs> if it was shot this way. Thanks. And the actress who's portraying you is um, uh, what's her face? Zendaya. Zendaya. I was just about to say that. Yes, yeah, Zendaya. I knew it. She is so gorgeous. She can play me in a movie with me. <laughs> and your boyfriend is going to be portrayed by um, Keenan Thompson. <laughs> who is that? No, hold on. Let me. <laughs> How do you not know who Kenan Thompson is? Kenan? We're the same generation. Thompson. Is that Nora coughing? No. That's my Tell her she's um, ruining the podcast. Absolutely not. This is not who we playing my ex boyfriend. It has to be. No. I can. Hollywood no. loves him. Absolutely. Ew. The, well, I don't. Okay. The people will love him. You have to let some things go for Hollywood. You're not going to have everything. No, because we were cute together. So Zendaya and Keenan will not be a cute couple. Okay. How about this? Oh, boy. Choose the actor. You can choose the actor who plays your boyfriend, but I get to choose a different actress who plays you. 
Okay, let me think about it. And this is going to be totally Hollywood. <laughs> mm, okay, for who he looks like, let me... Let me see if I could think of someone that will look like him. Well, even if you can't think of anyone, let's just say he's whoever you want. Okay, who are you going to pick? Like? Yeah, who are you going to pick for me? For you, any white blonde chick. White <laughs> blonde chick. Okay, so you hate me. In conclusion, this is Hollywood. In this is Hollywood. Conclusion. Oh my god. We have to uh your movie has to be shown to a uh a more popular uh Are they gonna yeah, okay. Have you done cocaine? No. Yeah. I'm so straight edge. I've never done a single drug in my life. Okay. Besides cough drops. Ooh. That's right. Real risky. Bad boy. Uh. Oh. Ooh. That's not fine. These fucking pigs. You don't be fucking stupid. <laughs> this bubble fat looking ass. <laughs> that was some big flashlights. It's an EpiPen. What the fuck? How does a cop not know this? I feel like that's you. No. You crack way under pressure. No. Can't crack me up. Poker face is so strong. Have you ever been pulled over before? Never. You would 100% crack under pressure. No. And I'm going to touch wood just now for that. Okay. 100%. What you would do, a cop will pull you over and you're like... The moment the cop comes to your car, you just drive off. Oh my god, no. Do not wish this for me, okay? And you call your mom immediately. You have to help me. They're after me. I would call Noor. Noor would do, Noor would literally like not pick up the phone. No, she would. And wait your demise. I'm going to bail my ass out. She will wait your demise. No, no. She'd bail my ass out. I think she has my bail money already set aside just in case if that day ever comes. Oh, yeah, take that puff of the inhaler. Yeah. Look at the phones. Hey, I wish we did have flip phones back. So what about you? What what kind of drugs are you into besides meth? Oh my god. Okay. Well, <laughs> first of all, I don't do drugs. None? No. I took Adderall. You are the opposite of your sister. Yeah, I took Adderall a couple <laughs> times in university just to help me study. But that was the few times in university, never again. I've tried weed just to say I've tried it. But mm. so I'm not a big smoker, not a big drug person. Like I said, I'll drink, but for occasions, you know, birthdays, New Year's. That's it. I value my health too much. As I has any guy here and ate a bag of popcorn. <laughs> so I like that. But has any guy ever said that you are boring because of that? No. Uh, listen, I am anything but boring. That's what boring people normally no, say. No, 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 no. Trust me, I am anything but boring. <laughs> what makes you not boring? Um, I always say some just out of pocket shit, so I feel like I can always keep someone on their toes. Like what? The dictionary reading? No, no. That was just <laughs> <laughs> Um, I love going on adventures. Um 
again you're being very vague this is a very boring thing to say <laughs> no i i really am like i'm really not a boring person I, okay uh, i'll tell you what can i call I'll a friend you like <laughs> saturday saturday night it's saturday night you got money uh-huh. all your friends are free to hang if you want to call them up uh-huh. what are you doing all my friends are free and we got money yes what are you doing we're gonna go rent a boat what <laughs> we're gonna go rent a boat a yacht and we're just gonna go on a yacht party for the night yeah what the hell why not <laughs> okay what's wrong with that <laughs> do people who rent the boat they normally don't do that for a day do nah. they? well i mean you can but what's wrong with having a night party on the boat okay that's fine i guess it, it seems like a lot to set up just for like hey I'm going to go rent a boat right now. Let's go. All right. Well, you know what? What time of the night is this adventure starting? Let's say it's the morning. It's all Saturday. So, yeah, definitely. Let's go do a boat. Okay. Boat party. A boat party? Yeah, yeah man. That wouldn't be me. Well, I, don't, you do. I, don't, I don't get anywhere near water. Ah, uh, you don't want to swim? Um, I guess I don't know. I, I took swimming lessons once. Mm-hmm. I feel like I learned nothing. Mm-hmm. And then my ex tried to teach me how to swim. While we were in quarantine, where were you? She taught me a lot. Of, she taught me a lot of things in quarantine. Ooh, is that something like? Is that supposed to be some sexual like? No, oh, was man. it? I don't know. Was, was it, it the way that you just seems that she taught me a lot of it? Like, ooh, I don't know. No. Ooh, no, is definitely not. Add Eric as a oh. Don't tell me this oh, look, she even has a Facebook. <laughs> Don't tell me this is how the movie ends. <sighs> she even has a Facebook. How funny is that? Jeez. Wow. Current time. Wow. Sixty-five million. They wrote for you. <clears throat> He's just gonna constantly refresh. The- yeah, he is. It's literally me. Hmm. <laughs> 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 Five hundred million members. Wow. And this was what twelve years ago? I wonder what these numbers mm-hmm. are now. Uh probably double three. <laughs> three? <laughs> Nobody's on Facebook. Uh, see? This is why I never cared for this movie. Wow. Youngest billionaire in the world. See, like this just that just pisses me off because what was I doing at twenty one? Not creating a social media platform. Well, we can't ever relate ourselves or try to, you know. Put ourselves on that kind of pedestal. Hmm. Never. Huh. Yeah. Never do that. Well, that's the movie. And I'm pretty sure you hardly watched it because we talked over it. I hardly watched it. But it was it was nice to see Jesse and Andrew's face on my TV screen or my <clears throat> laptop screen. Well, normally we talk about final thoughts of the movie and appreciation. Even though... I feel like I don't have any. <laughs> <laughs> no, you have to you have to give something. Mm, you know what? Kudos to kudos to him at 21 college student creating Facebook. Shout out to him. He like you said earlier, he's changed the way we think and live our lives. Mm. So shout out at 21 years old. Not not a lot of people can say that. Only like two people can say that. <clears throat> 21 yeah, but see, that's always a it's always a, like a double edged sword thing. People always say they want to do like have like big dreams and do all this big stuff at like such a young age and stuff like that. But if you were to really do that at a young age, you would miss out on so much in life. Yeah, that's fair. But think about that financial stability for the rest of your life. OK, you say this. OK, imagine this. Nineteen. Mm-hmm. You're a billionaire. Right? Yeah. But that relationship you had, mm-hmm. 
it, it never happened. You never learned anything that you had from it. Mm. <laughs> and now that you have this money, and now you have a lot of attractive men you can talk to, but might not necessarily be for the right reason or the wholesome reason, like that first relationship started with. And that's all mm. you have to go with. Damn. I mean, I'll learn eventually. <laughs> you think you do? Isn't Mark is still single, isn't he? Mm, yeah. Yeah, he is, I think. Do you think he learned? Mm. No, but he's also a guy, so. What is it? Okay. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> he's also a guy, so they would they take a little bit more time anyways. How old is Mark mm. right well, now? Well, maybe we do need a woman to uh, mold us. Hold on. Let me see how old Mark. He's like in his 30s. Oh, wait, wife. Hold on a second. He has a wife. So he's 38. Uh, he's married? Um, It said wife. So hold on. Let me see. Oh, well, let me tell Priscilla you. Priscilla Chan? He's married? Yeah. Oh, my God. In 2012. <laughs> <laughs> like he got over her quick. <laughs> Priscilla Chan. Who well, is let me tell she you. that married Mark Zuckerberg? Well, let me tell you why the money thing is always bullshit. The richest man in the world. Who is that? Isn't it Bill Gates? Mm. It might be the Amazon guy. Oh, um, Jeff Bezos. Right. Mm-hmm. But Bill Gates, he's arguably like the second or third richest person in the world. Mm-hmm. Literally, his wife divorced him. Divorced him. Probably took all his money. No, no, she didn't take all of it. It's impossible to take all that money. But divorce him. If 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 you're telling me some guy who is a billionaire, gazillionaire, cannot keep his wife happy, that leaves us regular Joes leaving very defeated. I mean, I guess. I guess. But, like, I mean, okay, I... I I obviously say that financial stability matters, and it does. But being that filthy rich, I don't know. I don't know if, like, mm, if we got filthy rich together, then I I could see, like, how we would stay. But, like, if I was filthy rich or the guy was filthy rich and, like, we came into each other's lives, then, like, maybe I could see how, like, one of us would like want to divorce the other i could see that Mm. but like let's say i was happily married for like 10 years with like the love of my life and we win the lottery i could see Mm -hmm. us feeling like super happy even happier i could see that i guess i guess money is definitely i think in my last relationship money was definitely not a a thing um my ex cared about huh must be nice mostly because she was broke (laughs) i mean i obviously i don't care about it in a sense that if we don't live together then your money is your money like you do with it as you want you don't need to spoil me you don't need to take me out on like five-star restaurant dinner dates like but the Mm. money will come into play once we live together and if we plan to get married yes do you believe in marriage i do (laughs) why are you laughing you're like i do i do and just silence (laughs) i do okay i definitely i believe in commitment okay commitment uh commitment yeah sure yeah i believe in commitment too i think i had a one of my best friends was like telling me like a while ago how just marriage is like this entire system that totally suppresses women hmm marriage suppresses women yeah in what sense because i think we've like we've just strayed so far from like women's oppression that like i can't see how okay um let's see if i can argue this well in what way do you think it doesn't because I don't see like why it would you know like women are still able to have a career have a life have friends like 
you know, I guess they're like, yes, they're societal norms. It has nothing to do with marriage. Which is exactly what I'm saying. Like, I don't see how there could like even be a, like, how there's suppression to it. Like, I don't, I don't see. They're stripped of their last name. No, but you can still keep your last name now. Most don't. Most don't, sure. But I mean, muscle my mom actually switched it back to her maiden name. No particular reason. She was just like, oh, like, you know, I want it back. So, I mean, if, if it's that simple and like a snap of your fingers to get your name back, I don't see that it's like such a like big thing to kind of give up. Mm. Actually, since so you, so you give up name. your last name? Yeah, I would. But my mom doesn't want me to. My mom says to keep it and have like two last names or something like that. But like just like taking away the last name, that does not mean that like women are suppressed, though. Hmm. Yeah. I have to have this conversation with my buddy Gustavo again. Gustavo he, he, he is his name? It. Yeah. Gustavo. He's uh, he's Brazilian. Uh-huh. Well, I mean, with a name like that, I didn't think that he would be like Irish. Yeah. He was on my episode of La La Land. <laughs> just, just... Oh, I like La La Land. Yeah. What a trash movie. Uh, but anyway. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yeah. Growing up with Gustavo, like literally, he's like my gay best friend like he grew up gay mm-hmm. but literally every woman wanted him and school um, and it made me so mad <laughs> yeah women want what they can't have it made me so frustrated mm. well i'm not surprised gay guys are the best okay <laughs> I'll take your word for it. (laughs) I'll take your word for it. Okay, but yeah. um, Yeah, final, I mean, final appreciations. I mean, I've seen this movie uh, a while ago and revisiting it now. um, Listen, this is a very tasteful biopic. I believe it shot very well. I don't know why most biopics are not like this. Mm. Normally we get really trashy ones on VH1. uh, But... Yeah, this is pretty good. Acting is good. You know what? You know what? Fuck this movie. Okay. <laughs> now, now, now I feel like the reason why biopics are so trash, most biopics that are out there are made from my community. Uh-huh. If I'm going to be honest with you. You think It's so? made for black people by black people. Most of them, right? Okay. And I feel that most of those look different. They feel different than movies like this. It's because we don't have the resources that some of these people have. Hmm. Or they don't allow to share. Or they try to tax us or make more money or charge us a lot more from in order to have it. Huh. Or to to make something like that. Because it makes no sense to me. And I don't want to go off on a tangent. But it makes no sense why... Like, I work a lot for, like, uh, the BT channel mm-hmm. and, like, some Tyler Perry stuff. Mm-hmm. It makes no sense on why we have shows that are uh, really made for black people. Or, let's say, just for a minority. And it's just different. It just comes out different. I feel like it should be the same type of content. Or at least, not content, but, like, the way it's made and the way it's produced and the look of it right. should be the same. Mm. And it's not. It's a very interesting I, way to give your thought on the movie. Well, well, okay. So it's let's very, really think about it. Well, have you? Do you watch biopics a lot? Ah, uh, not really. I'm trying to think of a of a movie that I know that you've seen. <laughs> that's like. <clears throat> What's a fucking. I can name a bunch of movies, but I feel like I know you haven't seen well, them. Well, try me. Maybe, but maybe they're not like biopics, though. Like, for an example, let's say a good example. Um, damn. What's a really good... See, now I'm fucking blanking. A, a good example would be... Ugh. Oh. I want to say the best example is like the Aaliyah movie, but you haven't seen that. No, I have not. Have you seen? 
Well, fuck it. This is the perfect example. The social network. Okay. What we just watched, how it's looked, who's acted in it, who's directed it, all this fucking shit. Mm-hmm. Even the fucking studio that distributes it. Yeah. We don't see that for any other biopic of a, of a minority. Okay. I mean, I'll take your word and, for it because, like, I don't really watch biopics that much. But but even then, it hasn't. Even if you don't watch it, they've it's never come to you mm. within your circle. Even the social network, even if you're never interested in it, it still no, appeared to you. Yeah, there's no outlet for me to actually. Hmm. Okay. Hmm. So maybe that's what I'm thinking. But at least I don't know. I don't know. I feel like it's not going to change. I feel like now with TV so segregated, everyone just stays in their own lane in their own channel. Mm-hmm. I mean, it's gotten worse. Could you even say that with something like Netflix and Disney Plus and Prime? It's even worse. Yeah, it's right. Even fucking worse. Mm. It's so worse. Mm-hmm. Oh, first off, Netflix is its own. Netflix is its own tragedy. We can. I can really talk about Netflix, but stuff like Disney Plus, where it's literally. I don't want to hear no shade get thrown to Disney Plus, okay? I'm not here for it. Oh, are you a Disney Plus lover? I mean, I just love Disney. What's your favorite Disney movie? The Lion King. Really? That's a pretty racist movie. Well, you know what? (laughs) I am a Leo, so I don't know what you thought else. The Lion King, Aladdin are some pretty prejudiced movies. Very prejudiced. Well... The Lion King is also, and you know why. Of, you know exactly why. Exactly. The Lion why. King is also based off of Hamlet, and I don't know. If it doesn't matter. Sister, that doesn't matter. That doesn't matter. But that I don't know matter. if my sister has told you. I'm a huge Shakespeare lover. Your sister told me that you didn't know how to read, so oh, she's been lying. <laughs> interesting. So she told you I don't know how to read. Okay. Mm-hmm. Well, damn. She also said that. From a young age, yeah. she had to take care of you, uh, give 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 you her hand me downs, um, teach you how to drive. She did not teach you how to drive. Teach you how to cook. Yeah, yeah, I'd give that. She also gave you love advice. Um, she's giving me advice. <laughs> From the tone of your voice, it's definitely advice you didn't take. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> she's giving me advice. I'll give her that. Yeah, you know, as an older sister would. Right. But the whole the the Lion King and, and the Latin thing is literally like, and I don't want to go on like some type of th- uh, theoretical rant or whatever, but it's always fun. I mean, like literally, Lion King is the only antagonist is the brother of the lion who looks completely different yeah, than everyone else. I know, and, I know, but like, how do you make a lion look evil? You have it look like everyone else and give it a scar. I mean, I guess. Make him look a little bit rough looking or something. His eyes can glow or whatever. Well, the live action one did that exact thing. Did you watch no. the li- Yes, it did. No, no one wants to watch that. Wow, well, I watched it. Let me tell your viewers. It it did it justice. And Aladdin? Listen, don't even get me the started The live action on Aladdin. of Aladdin was so bad. Jafar was not yeah. scary at all. He wasn't. I'm talking about the animated one. Okay. If you rewatch it, Listen, notice... I'm not here for you to throw shade at Disney. Okay, <laughs> we all know it's corrupt. There was like these penises everywhere in the movie. It's racist. It's this. It's that. But it was my childhood, and it was a childhood for everybody that's listening. Probably. That's fine. We all grew up with things that we like, mm-hmm. and we grown to realize that it wasn't necessarily the best thing for mm-hmm. us to watch. Right. If you want to ever do a Disney movie, just count me out because I love them. No, we can. I've I'm trying to think what Disney movie have I done? Lord oh, loves we watch. I watch what a what a guess. I watched the National Treasure. National Treasure. Oh. And we loved it. With Nicolas Cage. <laughs> yeah, we loved oh. it. I mean, I was thinking more animated Disney, but all right, yeah. We can't. We can't. You know what? I told Nor that I was never interested to see Red. Oh. So eventually her and I would have to watch that. Okay. I mean, I've never seen that one either. Do you have no interest in watching it? Uh, not really. Well, guess what? Oh, boy. <laughs> oh, boy. We're going to have both the Zachary sisters. 
Oh, that would be amazing. But yes, maybe in the future you can appear again on the on the podcast. All right, yeah, I would love that. This was so much fun. Awesome. You know what? And I was just I, I forgot to say it in the beginning. Normally people say that they have a really fun time on this podcast. Your Nor is dying yeah, in the background. She is. <laughs> Wait, is that your mom? It's my mom, but Nor's probably dying too. I, I'm sure she ate the uh what is it? The what? She she ate she tried some of Nor's macaroons. Oh. <laughs> No, that was a one and done. She has never made them since. She's too traumatized. No, that's unfortunate. But thank you again for uh, being on this podcast. Thank you for having me. I honestly had so, so much fun talking about my love life and not about the social network. Yeah, next time I will definitely we'll definitely watch more of the movie. All right. But I guess this the conversation kind of was... a get to know me type of podcast. It was definitely gold. Yeah. This is definitely going to be one of my favorites. Okay, that's good. <laughs> I will definitely delete everything I have of Nora oh, and just put you on the top. <laughs> great, great. <laughs> right. But thank you again. And Starfighters, uh, that is the podcast. If you are listening to this on YouTube, you can leave a comment below. If you are on wherever you listen to your podcast, please rate leave a review and until then i will see you on the next one but until then victory or death star fighters victory or death